Gave them to be here, showing how in-app purchases index outside of the product page in iOS 11. I'm uh, going to show you how it works in the Featured tab, as well as the search results. So here we're starting off on the Today Feature tab. We're going to go to the Apps, and I've already scrolled down to where the in-app purchase lives. Um, to get to it, you'll scroll down and you'll see different apps that are being featured, and at the bottom we see Featured in-app purchases. Uh, if if we tap see all, it's going to show all in-app purchases for this app, Calming Circles 2. Um, so if they had other in-app purchases, they would show up here. Um, and if we actually tap on the in-app purchase itself, it takes us over to the product page of the app that the in-app purchase is featured from. Uh, so this is Calming Circles 2, and we see that the in-app purchases are actually front and center here because we've tapped over from, um, from seeing the in-app purchase in the Featured tab. And if we tap on the in-app purchase itself, it should open up a dialog here that allows us to download the app before getting the in-app purchase. And then once, sorry, I'm tapping, there we go. So we have to download the app first before getting the, um, the in-app purchase. And we see that Apple has just prompted us to download the app. And I if I had placed my thumb on the Thumpy Raider, I would have downloaded this app. Um, so you have to download the app before you can get the in-app purchase. But Apple allows developers to link people from who are coming from an in-app purchase download um, directly to the in-app purchase once the app is downloaded and opened it up. So really great UX for helping people to discover apps from an in-app purchase um, rather than discovering in-app purchases from um, the actual uh, app itself. So this is really a, a, an expansion of each app's ability to acquire customers. So now we're going to do a search, and I know that 8Fit is an app that does return in-app purchases in the search results. So if you search 8Fit here, um, we see that the app shows up, but let's say we search 8Fit Pro, we should see the in-app purchase show up, and here we go. So this is what an in-app purchase in the search results looks like. Um, we can see the price, we can see the in-app purchase icon, uh, we can see the... Uh, the app icon on the bottom left, there's the name of the in-app purchase. Um, and it's it's this big box, which appears like it may show other in-app purchases for 8Fit in that box. Um, again, if we tap the in-app purchase, it'll take us here, and the in-app purchase will be the first thing that's highlighted for us as the user. Um, and if we tap the app itself, we can see that is not the case. So the in-app purchases appear to be ranking for different combinations of keywords, um, meaning that in iOS 10 and, and before, in-app purchases would show in the search, well, they would show the app in the search results. However, you had to type in the in-app purchase exactly as, as it was named. Now it seems Apple is expanding that so that in-app purchases will rank in the search results for um, partial matches or other permutations of the app's keyword metadata. So we can see here, um, I'm just searching random random strings to see what comes up. We can see the app purchase is showing up um, for quite a, quite a good number of these. So here we've got just the 8Fit um, app. Um, but again, we see that for many different keyword strings, we're seeing the in-app purchase show up in the search results too. So this is... Again, a, a paradigm shift in the way that apps are being discovered. Um, before, you would search for the app. You would say, okay, this is a great app. I'm going to download this. Then I'm going to figure out what in-app purchases or extra features it has for me to purchase. But now, you can discover those extra features, the things that you want to download the app for, directly from the search results or from the Featured tab, um, meaning that you can discover the app through the features, the in-app purchases that it's making available for purchase. So this is a really big shift in the way that ASO is going to work in iOS 11, and uh, it will really require developers to think of in-app purchases in different terms, not just premium, uh, upgrade to premium or 500 gems, but you know a feature, something that people are actually going to be searching and is descriptive of what the in-app purchase is. Um, so nutrition plan or workout and meal plan could be the in-app purchase here. 
Um, so keep an eye out for more updates on iOS 11, and we'll explain more about how the in-app purchase ranking, uh, the keyword indexing, and how the whole process for optimizing ASO around in-app purchases works. And uh, stay tuned. Thanks.